Hey, what is up guys and welcome back. So this is going to be the first episode of our X-Lite long range testing. And what I will be doing is running the X-Lite with multi-protocol modules, receivers and everything. And however, today I did my first ever test with the XSR and it wasn't this one. The one I had had the proper antennas. However, you're not seeing it here today because I completely lost the airplane. So I'll get into that in a little bit. So today, basically, I got 3.10 kilometers on an XSR radio with no external antenna on this thing which is pretty insane i mean from remembering the osd i don't know if i have the osd playing the whole trip here or towards the end of the video but from what i remember currently i don't remember it really dipped below 60 much it was a pretty solid link the only reason why i turned back at 3.10 kilometers was because I was afraid that I thought I didn't set up my S bus failsafe correctly. Because it's not supposed to be on no pulses, it's supposed to be on hold. So when it holds the values in Betaflight or INAV sees that they haven't changed in a while, like hey, not even a point change, then they know something is up, then boom, you get failsafe, and then the thing will turn back, come back home to me. However, unfortunately, um, yeah, I didn't have that set, but good thing I turned back. But then again, I lost it. But not on the way back, I lost it for a completely other total reason. So this day was the, I was using actually Zod Nano Talent because I purchased it new wings because I ruined the first ones. And uh, on my tuning session, it just spun out and then just dropped into the floor in a huge field and I just couldn't get it. Anyways, so yeah. So and again, I'm currently in a search of the best long range test and this, this test will be revisited again once I complete my long range testing setup and it's not really easy to do such a thing. Um, but I am in the works right now I'm waiting for my lithium ions to stick on my S800 and replace the motor. Usually I use the S800 which is way more reliable and I've built so much trust in that build. Uh, but today I completely lost, you know, it's all nano talent with the F405 Maytek wing due to... I think one of the wings popping off in flight and that's why I went to a spin of death. Good thing I didn't have any HD cameras on that one. But anyways, so what do I think of the X-Lite? Well, so far I was not expecting it to hit 3.10 kilometers, let alone 2.5 kilometers with no external antenna. This is how I took this thing. And it wasn't even on full battery too, which is pretty crazy. I mean, I was on around 7.2 volts, I think. I mean, we could turn it on and check it out. So let's see. It's a r really nice controller, by the way. I really love this controller. 7.8 volts. So it's around 7.8 volts. And again, uh, the next test was the XM Plus radio. It was also strapped to the quad, but not connected. And I lost that as well. But this is the first pre, uh, or we could call it a trailer to the series. And my adventures of getting the perfect long range testing setup. And it's not that easy. I wish it was, but it's so much fun. And that's what I'm doing here. So overall, uh, that was a really nice test. So an XSR with a X-Lite can get you a minimum of 3.10 kilometers uh, distance without an issue. But again, that's line of sight where you know th there's nothing in the way of you and the controller. And uh, for it to get 3.4 kilometers is uh, 3.10 or 3.09 kilometers is remarkable in my opinion. In such a small form factor with no external antenna. I mean, I was using the RX4R with the QX7 the other day, and I was getting, you know, around 500 meters, it would always start wanting to fail safe a little, or not fail safe, I was just getting low RSSI for some reason, and then it'll pick back up. But with this setup, it's remarkable, actually. I didn't have any of that, I was just going on my way. I think it was around to two kilometer mark where I started to get critical here, but on the OSD, it seemed fine. The RSSI seemed absolutely perfect, which was pretty remarkable. So overall, you know, I'm very impressed, to be honest, with this thing. And I did get a bunch of antennas. Uh, so we can even, you know, once we know it's actually it's full distance, then we can try out other antennas and see what actually increases it, holding it up, holding it sideways. I really want to see that, you know, just in, 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 in real life testing instead of, you know, just theoretical stuff. Because the QX7, everyone's always saying, pull it to the right. But when I went far away with the RX4R the other day, I was playing with it to put it straight up and then put it off to the right. When I had it straight up and the controller held exactly like this, that was the best connection that I had. And um, yeah, that, that was something I didn't know because everyone was saying, oh, put it up to the side or, or something of that nature. But you know, you know, that has maybe its own use case. But for me, when I was going long range, I just had to stick it straight up and hold it just perfect like this. If I moved it, I can even see the RSSI moving. Uh, however, with this one, I was just holding it and flying. I don't even know what angle, just, you know, just flying like this. And um, again, 3.09 kilometers is pretty insane for me. 
Uh, next, I'll be testing Fly Sky and stuff. But again, I'm still in the progress, and this will be retested to its full extent to see the full extent of its range together. So I'll be testing different transmitters with different receivers. So right now, I need to pick up a, either some new antennas for the XSR because I think this is the only one I have. Uh, and then I do have a couple XM pluses. I could just you know get one of those, re re salvage it basically from another frame, and then go ahead and test it. And I do also have the QX7 test, the Horus test. And uh, other things as well. Ulti also, multi protocol modules will stick for the little ones here, and some mods, and a bunch of other long range testing. But this is the current part one series of the AFR Sky X Lite, which was the pre test of the X4. We could call it the pre test or mid range test. Um, I really wanted to push it a little further, but I wish I never went for that auto tune session, which really screwed me over. Um, and again, yeah, it's still a remarkable piece of hardware here, and I am. Um, really really amazed at, at the amount of distance and well that's it guys i'm gonna leave you guys with the footage from the trip and i'll see you in the next one peace out